Hello there guys, my name is Jag Gimpy Dwarf and welcome back to another Spotlight. Now again I'm doing another Dark Lord build because when I do a video for one of his builds he brings out something else. So what do we have here? We have the Vespid Support Carrier. What is it meant to do? What is it purpose? Um, basically what it's meant to do is it's meant to be able to produce ships. Um, by the looks of it he's got um, factory things like projector block factory things in there that allow that to happen. He's also got the wasp, an updated version of the wasp which is the factory version which by the sounds of it is a ship that is enabled to be um, built via a projector because he's changed the pivot points and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But the ship overall looks really 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 nice again same sort of design as um, as other ships but different in the same aspect I'm unsure which way is up with this ship most of the time because you've got this flat section here with the carrier well with the hangar inside and then if you actually come underneath the ship you've actually got this like weird ass carrying area here as well which has these like really strange walkways in but we can enter the ship and uh, do what we need to do in here now he does have like little locker rooms and uh, beds areas which is really really nice to see um, he's actually thought about what the hell where the hell are these people going to stay and sleep so these fighters can actually jump directly into the you know the cockpits from here which is actually really really handy so I think we'll start off um, we'll try and see what's on the other side of this door and see where we are with it. Now he's added another mod to this world which is the uh, Uncle Steez doors mod which is what I also use on my builds um, but it, overall it looks really really nice. Now I believe this is the factory area so can we get in there at all? Probably. Um, yep. Yeah. Here we go. So a lot of doors into this place. So this is where he has his... Uh, oh he's got a um, a rotated projection block on a piston that's that's strange but it, it's very finely tuned I'll give it that so what he's got is he's got a bed of these that basically uh, fix the ship up and then he's got this grinder here to cut off anything that's produced so the ship is allowed to just fly out so this thing could actually produce ships to fly straight out the door which is absolutely amazing. I haven't seen any ships like this yet. Um, I've seen stations, but not a moving ship. So this is, this will be really, really cool to see um, how it works. Now, I could probably uh, I could probably ge generate a ship, but I don't have the uh, Wasp blueprint on, so we won't try that. I don't think. But you guys understand how it works and understand the the whole idea around it. So with a lot of dot Lord's build, he actually leaves a lot of things open to make it look a bit more industrial and a bit more interesting, which is really, really nice to see. So if we head up here, where does this take us? Aha! So we're in the canteen kitchen area. Really, really nice. And again, oh, airy with the windows. Um, it's just gener generally a nice place to be. A good use of the, uh, what's it, the blast door blocks. So that's a really nice use of them. We come through here, and then we got sort of personal bedding maybe for an officer he's got really nice views over the side wings toilet yep ensuite toilet as well really really nice as well uh, it's just really well thought out now I'm, ha I'm gonna have to see which mod he's got in for the furniture because I am actually going to use it for a large ship because I really am itching to build a large ship and I've had no inspiration but Dark Lord has been giving me a lot of ideas so we'll have to see where that goes with Devil Driver Corporation but we go up here and let me open this door, where does this take us? ah! it's like an outside viewing platform, that's, that's, I like that I really do like that and you can actually get to the other part of the ship via this so these doors really make things a lot more accessible don't they so we'll come down here so where are we now? oh we're in the main control area so I'm guessing this door you come back through over the top of everything I'm guessing this is where this <laughs> that is so cool everything just links up really really nicely it's got a flow to it and we've got the main sort of control hub here with this lovely lovely view out through the center of the ship not very well defended, one rocket in here could 
absolutely annihilate this thing, but against a carrier, so it's it's meant to sit in the back, build the ships, and just you know get the hell out of there if it does come under fire. So we've been through these. That'll take us out to the walkway area. Yep, and then we head upwards. Where are we going now? Oh wow! Now this is pretty. Can I look over there now? Okay. So this is the main control area, which is really nice. Let's uh, jump in this, and uh, ooh. it's very quite slow moving, but uh, again, it's it's not meant to be, you know, get in and out there. Well, it's not meant to be, you know, fly in and get out straight away. It's it's got it's meant to be a slow ship because of the functions it does. We got bigger bedding areas. I can. I think I've already been in here. I have a feeling I have. Yeah, showers. Um, but that is, I think that is the majority of the ship. So we'll try and figure out a way out of here. Actually, I can probably do the spacewalk out of here, couldn't I? So if we come around here, and come around here, up here, and out. There we go. So again, this is a, uh, his ships are very well defended all the time, and he, he likes to mess around with the colours, which is nice to see. Um, thrusters placement, a little bit odd here, will it, okay, so the thruster will actually be able to do that, that's, that's alright. I was worried that the thruster was just going to burn through these side wings here, but it, it doesn't. I, th I guess they're a bit more protection for the thrusters, which is nice. So we've just got lots and lots of things around here. We've also got um, points where this can refuel and uh, restock if it ever runs out of materials to you know build the ships with and it's just an overall gorgeous looking ship now it's really nice how like the docking areas uh, are here so you can actually fit six here and they, they basically I'm, I'm, I'm expecting they'll drop out the bottom let's have a look so I actually have a, a cool idea for these um, K do they have one no so my idea is a bit radical but uh, we'll give it a try. Um, so as I was looking at these earlier, I kind of figured, well, why doesn't you do this? So what you could have is a dropping system for the ships where you have an artificial mass block on the front, or just take that off and put it there. There we go. And then if we jump in the cockpit somehow, go in T. If we go into the G menu, get the artificial mass block, toggle block on off what we want to do is we want to toggle it off um, it should be off now artificial mass, yeah it's off so if we go Y we are still hooked in to the spaceship but because its gravity is pointing downwards what we could do is go P to unlock And then that maybe, or turn off your inertia. Yeah, so you could actually do this where it's like it moves the ship out for you, and the ship just gains a bit of speed. Maybe put like three or four of the artificial mass blocks on, and you can turn it off when you're outside of the ship and put your thrusters on. So that'd be, you know, it's a, it's a really, really. I think I'm going to use that as well. Oh my god, I'm, I'm thinking up of ideas as I'm as I'm coming to them. It's amazing. So. This has been it. It's a again, it's a really, really, really beautiful looking ship. I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 again. He definitely has a way with building large crafts and small crafts. So if you guys have enjoyed this build by Dark Lord, go and download it. It's on the Steam Workshop currently. It's very new to the, the workshop, so, uh, you know, there's only a few people seeing it at the moment. But I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.